Good morning, sir. This is our project on vehicle engineering system using GSM, GPS, and wireless technologies. Now, let us go to the topic of discussion that is introduction, motivation, objective, component required, project work, future scope, conclusion, and reference. In today's world, vehicle is not only a symbol of luxury but has become a necessity. In today's world, transportation is a very crucial part of daily life. However, considering vehicles, any catastrophic situation can take place. Therefore, there is always an urgent need to arrange appropriate measures to increase the safety, security, as well as monitor the vehicles to avoid any mishap. A vehicle tracking system is very useful for tracking the movement of a vehicle from any location at any time. Motivation for GPS tracking system is the desire for advanced features in an inexpensive receiver. Currently, all OEM GPS receiver, that is the single GPS receiver, poles with no case, display, etc., proprietary firmware, which makes certain assumptions on the system dynamics or application which may not be appropriate. Currently, there is no single system that integrates all tracking and tracing of any movable object, the other applications, but all of them are separate. So, to integrating all of them was the source of motivation for our team. The object of this project is to construct a vehicle tracking system controlled by a smartphone specifically an embedded device to design and implement cost-effective vehicle tracking system yet an efficient one to design a user-friendly and a safe system. This is our component requirement Arduino Uno, GSM module, GPS module, Node MCU 866, power supply, connecting wires. Arduino is a prototype platform based on an easy to use hardware and software it consists of a circuit board which can be programmed and a image software app called Arduino ID which is used to like and upload the computer code to the physical board. The key features are Arduino boards are able to read and allow digital input signal from different sensors and turn it into an output such as activating a motor, turn a radio on or off, connect to the cloud and many other actions. You can control your board function by sending a set of instructions to the microcontroller on the board via Arduino ID. Unlike the most previous programmable circuit board, Arduino doesn't need an extra piece of hardware in order to load a new code onto the, new code onto the board. You can simply use a USB cable and Arduino ID uses a simplified version of a C++, making it easier to learn to program. Arduino pro, uh, provides a standard form of vector that breaks the function of a microcontroller into a most, more accessible package. GSM modem is a digital mobile network that is widely used by mobile users. It is used to establish communication between a computer and a GSM system. The modem is coming RS-232 interface which allows to connect PC as well as microcontroller with RS-232 chip. The boundary is configurable from 9600 to 115200 through 80 command. The GSM modem is having internal TCP IP stack to enable you to connect with the internet via GPRS. It is suitable for SMS, voice as well as data transfer to application in M2M interface. The onboard regulated, regulated power supply allows us to connect wide range of unregulated power supply. Using this modem, one can audio, make audio calls, SMS, read SMS, attend the incoming calls and internet through simple AT commands. Every command starts with AT, that why these are called AT commands. AT stands for attention. When a 10 digit mobile number is provided, the program instructs the modem to send the text message using a sequence of AT commands. This is a figure of GSM module. The GPS orbital period that is the same as the art rotation period. So they maintain exactly the same position with respect to the art below them. All the GPS satellites transmit radio signal which are then captured by GPS receiver and used to calculate its geographical position. A minimum of four satellites may be required to compute the four dimension X, Y, Z, latitude, longitude and elevation and time. GPS receiver converts a receiver receive signal into position and estimates time and some other useful information depending on the application requirements. GPS determines the distance between a GPS satellite and a GPS receiver by measuring the amount of time taken by a radio signal to travel from the satellite to the receiver. To obtain accurate information, the satellite and the receiver use very accurate clocks which are synchronized so that they generate the same code at exactly the same time. The Node MCU ESP8266 development board comes with the ESP12A module containing the ESP8266 chip having 10 silica extensor 32 bit LX106 RIC microprocessor. The microprocessor supports RTOS and operates at 80 MHz to 160 MHz adjustable clock frequency. Node MCU has 128 KB RAM and 4 MB of flash memory to store data and programs. Its high processing power with inbuilt Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and deep sleep operating features make it ideal for IoT projects. Node MCU can be powered using a micro USB jack and PA in pin. It supports UART, SPI, and I2C interface. 
this is a figure of node mcu model this is pin this is pin configuration of node mcu 8266 Here TX pin of the GPS module is directly connected to digital pin number 10 of Arduino. By using software serial library here, we have allowed serial communication on pin 10 and 11 and made them RX and TX respectively and left the RX pin of the GPS module open. By default pin 0 and 1 of Arduino are used for serial communication but by using software serial library, we can allow serial communication on other digital pins of the Arduino too. 12 volt supply is used to power the GPS module. GSM modules TX and RX pin of the, are directly connected to pin RX and TX of Arduino GSM module is also powered by 12 volt supply. In this project, Arduino is used for controlling hold the process with a GPS receiver and GSM module. GPS receiver is used for detecting coordinates of the vehicle. GSM module is used for sending the coordinates of uh, coordinates to user by SMS and an optional 16. When we ready with our hardware after programming, we can install it in our vehicle and power it up. Then we just need to send an SMS track vehicle to the system that is placed in our vehicle. Send message is received by GSM module which is connected to the system and sends message data to Arduino. Arduino reach it and extracts main message from the whole message and then compare it to the predefined message in Arduino. If any match occurs then Arduino reach coordinate by extracting the data from GPS module and send it to the user as a message using GSM module. This message contains the coordinates of the vehicle location. This is the block diagram of the circuit with GPS and GSM module. Let me explain the connection and working of this circuit. The node MCU module TX and RX pins are connected with pin 7 and pin 8 of the Arduino, while the V in pin of the node MCU module is connected with 5 volt pin of Arduino and ground pin of the node MCU connected with the Arduino ground. But you can also power up the node MCU module using your laptop USB port. The VCC pin of the Neo 6M GPS module is connected with 3.3 volt and its ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. The TX and RX pin of the GPS module are connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino and Arduino is powered up by 5 volt adapter and it can also make tag input from laptop port by connecting usb a to usb b after power of the circuit the node mc will connect to the wi-fi and blink app in blink app we have to set up the project earlier to get the authentication code which will be sent to the email which is given at the time of creating the account the authentication code is used in the source code of the node mcu with the wi-fi ssid and password to connect to the wi-fi as well as the blink app without the authentication code the node mcu will only connect to the wi-fi but not with the blink app and after that we can choose various widget and correct uh, connect pin to get the desired output after that we can choose various widget and the correct pin to get the desired output this is a block diagram of the circuit with no damage. This is the software part of the program. The program for the Arduino and Node MCU is written in C language in the Arduino IDE. The user's Wi-Fi, SSID and password should be included in the source code in order to connect the Node MCU to the user Wi-Fi. Then we can interface the Node MCU through the blink app. We can have various output with the help of blink app like map, longitude and latitude, direction etc. This is the Arduino program. And this is a node MCU code. This is the node MCU code. Four hour program. This is the this is the gun chart of our project. Application and application and benefits. Stolen vehicle can be tracked easily. We can install it in car and bikes and track its speed. It can be easy to track location of children. It can be used for trucks carrying valuable goods to keep track of the status of their delivery and location of the truck at all times. Future scope of this project. While doing this project, it was found that the vehicle tracking is a huge field. There are a number of techniques that can be used to track vehicle. The technique should be cheaper and also efficient. Due to increasing ratio of the vehicle in today's world, the vehicle tracking system will have a great scope in future. It can be used in multipurpose by installing the sensors like fire sensors or proximity sensors. Proximity sensors will be exceedingly supportive in case whenever vehicle will meet with an accident. If the device size is reduced to a size so it can be wearable, it will be helpful to track people. Conclusion 
the aim of this project is to build a vehicle tracking system that is flexible customizable and accurate this system is used to track the vehicle by using gps via node mcv and google maps the arduino is the brain of the system and the node mcv is used for connect to the circuit wirelessly to the app in comparison to sms tracking it is fast and have more accuracy this system can be used in both cases of personal as well as business purpose to improve safety and security this technology can also help to advance the system of transportation and can be used in many organization for security purpose and tracking purpose the system allows organization to track their vehicles and to get the exact location of the vehicle this is our working module our project is vehicle tracking system with the help of arduino gps and node mcu wi-fi module now this is our arduino which acts as the brain of the circuit it is here to collect the coordinates from the uh, of the location from the gps which is connected with the arduino through pin 2 and pin 3 we use the neo 6m gps module here which is powered up by the 5 volt uh, supply through arduino and this is the node mcu which is x as the coordinator between the arduino and app which we will use later for showing the location which is connected to the arduino through pin 7 and pin 8 and now we will see how to set up the app first we will install it from the play store or apple store which one is suitable for the user then we will open the app and then click on creating account then type the email and give a password for the account after then after then sign up and it will open and we will see the option like new project my apps etc we have to click the new project option and give a name to the project which in case of our project will be gps after that we will have to select the board we are working on in our case it will be esp8266 and then we have to select create then we will get an authentication code in our email which we will used in the source code with the user wi-fi ssd and password after we upload the code to the board it will connect to the wi-fi as well as blink app then we can select widget according to what we want to see as specified by our project in our case we will see map and latitude latitude and longitude and when our esp622 is connected to the board it will show a green dot in the above of the map